You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Linda, your host, and I have a new face for Greater Brockton. I have Linda Siegel Croker. I did it right, right? Yes. Okay, and Linda is the Resource Development Coordinator for Family and Community Resources, which is a wonderful nonprofit agency. How long has it been around? We are celebrating our 50th anniversary this year. Okay, that's right, 50th. Yes, it's a big one. And you help people um, that have tra all sorts of traumatic things. Correct. Unfortunately happen to them. Yes, Dom we work. Domestic violence, tell me. Um, we serve families who are impacted by trauma at home, at school, in their community. We work with domestic violence victims. We work with perpetrators of domestic violence. And we also have one of the largest supervised visitation programs in Massachusetts. Um, we're one of the original programs in the country where we have um, kids who are in the custody of the Department of Children and Families come to visit their parents at our visitation center. And then we also have what we call domestic violence supervised visitation. So that's where the child or children are with one with the custodial parent and they come to visit their non-custodial parent in our safe environment. Right, and you are over on Newton Street? The main office is 18 Newton Street. Newton, I, um, I, I thought, and a beautiful old house that yep. was actually gifted to family and community resources a long time ago. Mm -hmm. And we also, our visitation center is at 250 Belmont Street in Brockton. Okay. And then we also have facilities in Quincy, Taunton, and Hyannis. Right. And Pat Kelleher is at the helm. Patricia Kelleher. Patricia She's Kelleher. been there a long time. She has. She's uh, probably 30 years, if, maybe even I more. I think even more. Okay. I've been here just about 24 and I, I was here before I was here back in early 80s, and I remember interviewing her for a show at that point in time, and she's still going strong. you got a good, great staff. you got a, a board of directors, nonprofit we board do. of directors, we and do. volunteers. You can volunteer to work with exactly. your agency, Exactly, and right? we are always looking for volunteers. We okay. actually have a project coming up um, at our visitation center on 250 Belmont Street. We're turning the side lot on the edge of the parking lot into a playground. Okay. And... Um, Liberty Mutual, I believe, is coming to help us clean it up and get it ready. We're going to plant some flower beds. Um, I think we might even be making a hopscotch, you mm -hmm. know, I don't even know what you call it, hopscotch mat kind of okay. thing. So that families in the warmer weather, we can go outside, do some activities outside instead of just being stuck inside, you know, the building all the time. Are, you, are volunteers building it, or is it being Volunteers built? are building it. Okay, so you need help. That, that's not an easy thing. That's not an easy thing. I'm not sure how much more we need, okay. but we'll always take more. Talk to the Rotary Club. They do stuff like that. They built the playground over at the Edgar Playground years ago. I was in the Brockton Rotary, and they do stuff like they that, do. so you never know. That's true. You never know. Might be a good idea. But we're here to talk also about uh, an event that's coming up. It's yes. a celebration of women. It's the day before Cinco de Mayo. Correct. It's on Friday the 4th. Friday the 4th. Tell us about it. It is our third annual Cinco de Mayo Celebration of Women where we honor primarily women in the community who have gone above and beyond in their lifetime in service to their community in one way or another. Um, this year we're honoring Dr. Claire Appling, who we all know. Oh, yeah. And I'm sure there will be some people in the audience who remember her fondly from Absolutely. high school. Absolutely. She used <laughs> to swim great. with my father in the pool, and she could be, take him in laps sometimes. So. I believe it. <laughs> for sure. Um, we're also honoring Erin Spaulding of the YMCA for her work. Um, and she and Pat Keller her happy history together in establishing the Family Life Center at the Y. Mm -hmm. um, and that is something Erin has really um, been instrumental in promoting, developing, and growing programs out of that um, as part of the community at large. And some of her families are also some of our families. And then our third honoree is receiving the Wayne McAllister Community Service Award, and it is yours truly, Mr. Well, Mark Lind. And we are very, very excited about that, too. Well, that is an honor I can't even tell you about because Wayne meant a lot to me. He was a wonderful human being. I served with him on the Southeastern School Committee. I knew him in politics. He was the Ward 4 chairman. He was the vice president of the union. He was a firefighter. He was someone that helped other people his whole life. And his mission and his cause was family and community. He was the president. He was the treasurer. He was probably everything else. And he lived it. He talked about it. I talked to him all the time about it. 
Uh, when I went to the White Ribbon Campaign events, he was there, um, as sick as Wayne was, okay? Uh, it is it is 65th birthday party, he talked about it, because he was proud of his community right. service and his family, Sarah, who works with you. Yes, Sarah runs our, is the program coordinator for the Intimate Partner Abuse Education Program. And Sharon, his wife, and the whole family. I mean, they're part of the family and community resources family. Okay, so to get that, I, I was talking to Pat about covering the event, and she says, well, I'm not calling you for that. I'm calling you to tell you you won the award. And I dropped the phone, and I didn't know what to do about it. So it's, a, it's an honor. Um, you know, it's, it's wonderful to be honored with women, you know, um, because women do a lot of wonderful things in this community. It, your organization has been there for folks for years, and um, if you weren't there, we would have bigger issues and bigger problems. So it's a fundraiser. It's it to raise money. Unfortunately, yours truly can't raise any money because I'm a state employee at Massasoit Community College, so I have to be very subtle about doing it. When I ran for office, I couldn't raise money for myself. I had to have people right. do, do it, it for, for me. And I only thing I like to ask money for is for a good cause. And this is a good cause because there's costs to all of this. Nothing happens for free counseling. And I mean, you, you run Correct. on volunteers, but you also have to have paid professional staff. staff. Mm -hmm. So how's the response going? The response to the event has been amazing. We have some received some amazing sponsorships from members of the community, our um, presenting sponsors, the Prone Foundation. And Steve Prone and his family have also been very involved with Family and Community Resources for a long time and has been a staunch supporter mm -hmm. of the organization. In Good Health has also been a big supporter of our organization. We really appreciate their sponsorship as well. And pretty much the sponsorship's being touched by everyone in our community, and it's amazing. We're so thankful and grateful, and we're looking forward to seeing everybody next Friday and having now, we're a week away. We're a week away. Can people still away. go? But yes. to get your ticket soon, because it's, it's at Thorny soon. Lee. It's at Thorny Lee. Um, I would get your ticket soon. If you're not doing anything right now, go online to fcr-ma.org and buy your tickets. They're $75 each, mm -hmm. um, and we're going to have a mariachi band, mm. which is, for the first time, so okay. traditional, perfect. Yeah. Um, we'll be doing a little salsa dancing. We have some silent auction items and a really great live raffle auction item. Um, so it's going to be a lot of fun. Sounds great. Well, you know? I'm, I, I would have been there one way or the other, whether I got an award or I covered it, because I've always supported you. You guys do great work. and. We're going to expand on that. I, I told um, your colleague who was just on TV, I'm trying to remember. Ruth, it, Ruth Zachrin. Let us know. That's what we're here for. We're right. here to promote nonprofits right. and let everybody know the good work they do and help them get volunteers and just get out the word and get out the information. That's excellent. So we're excited. Thanks for being on. Thank you. I told you it was easy. I know. Okay. Do we what? We're good. We're good. <laughs> we're good. You're, okay. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.